Hello Huns, welcome to Astrology Hun O Hun. There's a lot of planets in retrograde right now, so let's talk about it. Let's let's go there. Just a reminder first that when a planet is in retrograde, it means that it appears to stop station and move backwards. However, this is actually an optical illusion caused by the planet passing Earth in its orbit. When a planet is in retrograde, this area of life associated with the pl that planet gets messed up a bit. At the moment, we have two interpersonal planets, Jupiter and Saturn, in retrograde, as well as two of the three generational planets, Neptune and Pluto, which will be joined by the third generational planet, Uranus, in August. Mercury went, went direct or out of retrograde on the 22nd of June and won't go retrograde again until the 27th of September. And then Venus will go retrograde on the 19th of December. Mars is the only planet that doesn't go retrograde this year, but it will be in 2022. Pun. So the four planets that are in retrograde at the moment are slow moving planets. So these are more long term transits that will have a more gradual less noticeable impact on us. So let's look at Jupiter retrograde. You can take out your Fish Astro Huns calendar, unless you don't have one, in which case why? They're 30% off on astrohuns.com. Cheeky promo. So you can see here that Jupiter went retrograde in Pisces on the 20th of June. It will scoop back into Aquarius then on the 28th of July and then go direct on October 18th here. Um, Jupiter retrograde isn't as bad as the other retrogrades as it's an inherently lucky and optimistic kind of energy. Jupiter, Jupiter is what's known as a benefic planet which basically means that it's more chill positive vibe than the malefic planets. Jupiter is the planet of luck, optimism, opportunity growth and expansion. Therefore, when Jupiter is in retrograde, it's encouraging you to rein it in a bit, focus on your self growth and your inner expansion. So if you've been stuck in your personal comfort zone, Jupiter retrograde will be like your sassy little life coach, pushing you to get out of it. Equally, if you've overindulged in any bad habits, she's ready to help you gain control. This Jupiter retrograde started in Pisces, its home sign, which heightens its effects a bit. We may be feeling overly optimistic or it's an opportunity when we're lost in a daydream. Then it moves back into Aquarius at the end of July and will be snapped back into reality, given a chance to revisit missed opportunities from the last time it was in Aquarius back in May, particularly opportunities related to the collective. Saturn then went retrograde on the 23rd of May, it's here, and it'll go direct, won't go direct until the 11th of October. Saturn is the planet of time, responsibility, discipline, authority and karma. Therefore, when Saturn is in retrograde, karma is coming. So I hope you've been behaving yourself, Susan. Saturn retrograde can be a bit of a triggering time as Saturn is associated with restriction and limitation. You may have to deal with issues around your duties and responsibilities, particularly within your career. Remember those boundaries. Don't take on more than you can handle. You'll be fine. This Saturn retrograde is taking place in Aquarius, which may not be the most comfortable as Saturn is horny for rules and Aquarius is the rebel of the zodiac, so it's not the best combo. There will be some tough lessons, but they will be valuable and you'll emerge more mature, ready to thrive. Okay, so then we have Neptune retrograde next. It's in its home sign of Pisces on the 25th of June and will station direct on the 1st of December. Neptune's the planet of dreams, spirituality, imagination and intuition. When Neptune's in retrograde, the rose-tinted glasses have been taken off and we have to face some hard truths. Our intuition and psychic abilities will also be heightened during this time. Since Neptune retrograde is occurring in its home sign of Pisces, we'll feel its effects even more. You'll be feeling more connected with your spiritual side, ready for a Stunning moment of self-reflection. -reflec Trusting your intuition is key during this time. Then we have Pluto went retrograde in Capricorn on the 27th of April. Um, and it will station direct then on the 6th of October. Pluto is the planet of transformation, rebirth and growth. When it's in retrograde, it's encouraging you to dive deep under the surface of your soul Get rid of any toxic patterns or dirty skeletons hiding in your psychological closet. This is also the planet of power and control. So if you have any controlling people or habits in your life, now is time to make some cuts. Since this Pluto retrograde 
is occurring in Capricorn will be dealing with matters involving rules, structure and career goals. So that's it for this episode, Huns. I hope you enjoyed it. Head to astrohuns.com to get 30% off calendars and t-shirts. I also offer birth chart readings, predictions and now new personalised retrograde and moon phase horoscopes if you want to know how these events will affect you personally. Go have a look. Okay, bye.